Part four of chapter one. It is related when the great master departed this life, his son Jalaluddin was 14 years old. This apparently was a copyist error for 24. Jalal was said to have been born in Al Hijra 674 or 1207 of the common era. He married when 17 or 18, and often did he say in the presence of the congregation of his friends, the great master will remain with me a few years. I shall be in need of Shamsuddin of Tabriz, the capital of Azerbaijan, for every prophet has had an Abu Bakr as Jesus had his apostles. Now, he never claimed to be uh, Rasulullah, Nabiullah, or anything like that. Um, it's just he knew there was more to the mission and he needed a helper in the task. Um, you know, somebody of a different temperament. So Shia and Sunni, I guess, was the idea of merging the two. But another thing where we have difference of age, you could say, in what people think and you know what the fine details present. The fine details present that Aisha was anywhere from 13 to 19 when her marriage was consummated. But one, one guy left out some things as he got older and other narrations people you know, are, are, are sure to remember that they're weak because they're missing words and stuff. But um, so anything after this one guy moved. Um, but it's the things are full of details that prove that she couldn't have been younger than a teenager when the marriage was consummated. And in America, you can still marry, maybe not every state, the 13 year old, but you can definitely marry a teenager um, if, if she was 19, like, like the earlier narrations of that one guy. It wasn't that he changed the story, he just left out a word. And, you know, this, you know, when he got older, his, his narrating ability became less reliable. That's it. Everything ties through that one person. 